Hey ya uh, gas and ghouls, it's Galanda here, and today we are going to be playing Minecraft, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be showing how to make a vending machine. Now, these things right here are what you're going to need, including something for a filter. So all this you're going to pretty much need. You can build it however you like. Um, you don't need a grass block, <laughs> um, but all these items right here you're going to need. All right, so first we're going to start off by building the vending machine. Now this one is pretty simple. Um, let me do this. Okay. So you can either have it like this or you can have it like that. I'm going to have it like this. And what you're now going to do is put this here. And next, you're going to take some of these. You're going to need five in total, by the way, because you're going to want to make the sides look good. Now, no, you could have left it as is like this, but there's a reason why I do it like this, at least for this version, um, because, you know, you'll see. All right, so you're also going to want to put a sign in the front, which is basically going to say how much you want a person to pay um, for whatever item you're selling. So for me, I'm going to be selling, for example, for this video, a honey bottle, and it's going to be just for a diamond. All right, so. Next, I'll be building the back. So we're going to go in back and we're going to punch out where this is. And we're going to punch out this area. Now, we're going to take the hoppers and we're going to make a filter. If you don't know what a filter is, um, I'm going to be showing you what a filter is. Basically, if you want items to be filtered at least items that are stackable because this doesn't do unstackable items like swords and that kind of stuff um anyway oh whoops i put this in the wrong spot oopsie okay so you're gonna want it right underneath the barrel and you want it pointing towards that that's why i had it pointing there and there's a reason it's because you're going to put this thing, a comparator, it's going to be right here. This is going to figure out if something has gone through that needs to go through. You'll see. All right. So this is what the filters circuit is going to look like. It's going to look like that. Okay. So next we're going to take redstone and do it like this. Okay, and then we're going to take a torch, put it right here. Now, we're going to be having two hoppers right here, and this is actually going to be a barrel. Basically, this is where your money is going to be hiding. Um, give me a minute. <laughs> there we go. All right, now to cover that back up. All right, so your money is going to be in here. Now, this torch will be locking this hopper, and the only time it will unlock is when an item goes through the filter. So now we're going to set up the filter. We're going to put one diamond in here, and you see it's already lit up. But we need to put enough items that when an item gets detected in the sparrow, it will go through. No, if it's a diamond. Now, we're going to put five of these here. And it could be any item as long as it's named something else. And you know you're not going to use it. Because that can break the whole system. If I put these in that barrel instead of a diamond, that will break this. So, don't do that. Alright. 
So put five up until the last one. Then you're going to want to put six. And there we go. That's the item filter. Except for there's going to be one extra diamond down here. All right. So now, oh, I almost forgot one thing. You need to have one of these repeaters facing this way. And no ticks on it. Just leave, leave it like this. That's to help put the signal, because see, now we have this all set up that when one item goes through there, it will trigger this, which will then go through here, which will then turn off this redstone long enough for one item to go through that hopper and end up in the barrel. Okay, so we did that. Now, as you can see here, I already built it over here. We're going to next put the next part which is the what triggers for well items to be put in the barrel when you paid so this is going to also trigger this which is also going to be attached to this stuff so you're going to want it like this and then Put a torch right here. Now, we have not done this part. This part we need to do. Now, we're going to put a hopper right here. And then we're going to need to remove some of this because we're going to need a dispenser and a button. And we're not using the sticky piston. So don't use that. Use a regular piston. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take. Take a rail and we're going to take a minecart. Okay. We're going to put the railing on top of the hopper and then put the minecart on top of the hopper. Then you're going to want to break the railing so the minecart is like this. Next, we're going to take one of these blocks and we're going to take the piston and we're going to take the button. All right. And you're going to want it to be right here. Put a block under it. Press the button. And then cover the hole you made. Now, that kind of covers up the um, hopper. Now, because I'm facing a certain way, it's showing like this. If you had it facing this way, you might not have this showing. Um, I'm not particularly sure about that, but I think that's what happens. Anyway, so... This is so that this puts in the item that you paid for in. Because otherwise, we would have to put a hopper right here, and it's right below this, which is always powered. So that would mean that that hopper, if I put it right above this, would always be locked. So to get around that, we put this here. And then we take a hopper, and we place it. Well, not there. There. And now we just place. A block right here, and then we place a repeater. Okay, this is going to be where your storage is. So you're going to want to double chest if you want a lot of items to put in there. And we're just going to put one stack of bottles. All right, this should be all done now. Let's give it a test. So I'm going to put a diamond in there. Uh-oh. Give me a moment. <laughs> there seems to be a problem. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, I see why. Okay. Alright, basically... Note to self, or note to everybody, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to want to put a honey bottle in there, or fill it up, and then fill this, so that when your person goes to pay, then they'll get a honey bottle. See? Now it works. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but, 
Now to experiment. If I put anything in here, it does not take it. It only takes the diamonds because of the filter. <coughs> but if I dare put this in, that's going to break it. So, yeah. But that's the, um, that's the vending machine. So, yeah. And again, I'm going to show this right here so you can see it. You'll have to make sure there's enough space for this. It's only going to be about two blocks out. <coughs> and from the floor, it's going to be under the floor. So it's going to be about, if you count this block here, three blocks down. <coughs> and as for up above, it's going to be up to this block here. So that's going to be like from the floor, it's going to be four blocks up from the floor. But neat and compact. All right. <laughs> I think that I'm going to end the video here. So bye bye.